another moment we are bringing you the word of god from jesus shelter youtube channel and as inspired by jesus spirit the word of today is about carrying the number of god calling the number of jesus walking with the number of our god walking with the name of jesus walking with the number of god why do we need to walk with the number of our god what is the number of our God? What is the name of our God? Why do we need to know and what is the number and how do we know it and why should we carry the number of God and how do we know that we have the number of God, that we walk with the number of our Lord Jesus Christ? It is very important to walk with the number of God. It is very important to bear the name of our God. It is very important to live, to talk, to speak, to breathe, to look, to smell like God, like our God. Remember, the first Christian, they were called Christian because their behavior, their talk, their look, their talk, their smell, their listening, they were all exactly like Christ. So it was like a mockery word calling them Christian. This looked like Christ, Christian. It was like a mockery. But on the other hand, it was for their good because of their behavior. It is because of their habit, their culture, their culture. A culture is a way of life. Every family have a culture. Remember, culture is not only that Kikuyu have their own culture. Why West, Western world, they have their own culture. Asian have their own culture. Uh, Middle East or Arabs have their own culture. But even within the Arab community, each family have their own culture. Even within the Western culture, a different, every family have their own culture, live alone like same race. If I'm from tribe of same tribe with, with somebody I married, their family had their own culture. And I had their own culture. It doesn't matter. Even if you marry somebody, you speak the same language. Their family, there is the way they behave. They show all these people behave the same. They have a certain way they behave because they grew together. Even Christian. We, we are called ambassador. We, are not, we don't belong to this world. We belong to heaven. Ambassador are not, they don't belong to the country they represent. They belong from the country they represent, but not the country they live in. As as Christian, if you read the book of Corinthians, say we are Christ ambassador. That means we don't belong to this world. We belong to kingdom of heaven. Therefore, our behavior, our talk, our look, our doings, our thought should match exactly, not the other way. Not the other culture, but heaven culture. We have a culture. We have a language. And this culture, we have a way of life. And this should be exactly as heaven culture. Not Kikuyu culture. Not Western culture. Not Arab culture. Not Asian culture. Not African culture, but heaven culture. A culture, a way of life of heaven. It is very important to carry the number of our God. To represent God because we are called Christ ambassador remember very important and why do we need to carry the number of our God reason the most important is that anybody without the number of our Lord Jesus Christ anybody without number that matches Jesus will not enter heaven will not be counted as part of God kingdom the Bible says, and God said in Revelation chapter 3, verse 11 to 12, that those people who carry the number of God, God will light his number on them. He will call them his people and put a pillar on them. He will write the name on them, his name on them. The Bible says in Revelation chapter number 22, verse 14, that those who will clean up and live holy will enter the city through the gate. Why holy? Why those who clean up? Why holy? The Bible says in Revelation chapter 3, verse 7, that he who is holy and truth, he who is holy and true, 
So a name, number of our God, he's a holy God. Our God is a true God. Our God has no right in him. Our God carries the truth. Our God, the number of our God is truth. No right in him. He is holy. That the Bible says in Revelation 22, verse 14, why we need to carry the number of God? Because only the holy will enter heaven through the gate. They will enter heaven. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 22, verse 15, anybody who practices magic, witchcraft, idolatry, and anybody who do anything that is not true, falsehood, will not enter heaven. So it is very important we carry the number of our God because it is the only way we will enter heaven. It is the only way we will be counted as part of God's kingdom. No one dirty will enter heaven. No one and no holy will enter heaven. So we, know, we need to know the number of our God. We need to know the number of God so we can carry the number of Jesus. There is no black and white. There is no 50-50. Ah, maybe Peter will enter. Ah, maybe I'll have mercy on you. There is no mercy. When the, the, the trumpet has sounded, the Bible says in the book of uh, Old Testament that God is slow to anger, abounding in love, forgiving all the sinner. He will give you all the time to repent and come to him. The Bible says in 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 9, 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 9, that God has not delayed to come back. People say Jesus will never come is the same. Sleeping, waking up, going to work, sleeping, waking up, going to work, dying like that. Sleeping, waking up, going to work, some, then you die. They, uh, they say, scoffer, they say like that. But the Bible says in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9, it is not that is normal. Sleeping, waking up, sleeping, waking up, going to work. It is because Jesus wants you to come to him. He give us enough grace. This is a grace time. We're in grace period. That anybody, you want anyone to everyone to enter. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 6 2. 2 Corinthians 6 2. Now is the day of salvation. Come now. Tomorrow you don't know whether you'll be dead. There will be accident. There will be bomb blast. There will be you get a heart attack. You don't know what people die anytime, anywhere. Our body are so useless. We die anytime, anywhere. But we want to cheat ourselves and certain cheaters. And we want to cheat ourselves that it is just making money, making money, watching sport, enjoying women, enjoying sport. Accumulating meetings, working 24-7 to build houses. And yet you maybe you're not living in those houses. You don't know when you die. We, life is so uncertain. Corona took a lot of people. Corona, COVID-19. We are cheat ourselves and the enemy cheat us. Whereas we need to worship God, knowing that if you die, there is no mercy if you have not repented. We need to carry the number of God because if you die before Jesus comes, you will not be, a, be given time to repent. Not be given time to repent. And also, if the grace period finish, you will not be given time to repent. There is enough time now. You are given time. Come to Jesus now. It is important to live a holy because nobody and a holy will enter heaven. Don't cheat yourself. It is important to know the number of our God. The number of God is, He is holy God. We must live holy. He is word of His God of truth. We must talk the truth at all times. He is blameless. We must walk blameless. He is merciful. We must be merciful to others. He doesn't scoff people. We must not insult others. We must not, we must not plan. God does not plan evil to others. God is not jealousy. God does not commit murder. God does not take advantage of other people. God is merciful. He doesn't cheat. He doesn't feel jealousy because of somebody's success. He doesn't accuse any of any somebody for no reason. He doesn't take advantage of position and, and, and downtrend others. That is the name of our God. He's merciful God. He's compassionate. He always have good plan for us. Jeremiah 29, 11. Our God is a God of good plan, thinking of good of us. Jeremiah 29, 11. Our God have good thought for us to give us a future filled with hope, happiness, and joy. So if anybody is planning evil, you know that he has, doesn't have number of God. If anybody has a falsely accused you, he doesn't have number of God. If you are planning evil against your sibling or your brother, your wife, your friend, you have no number of God. If you're feeling jealousy of someone, you don't have a number of God. If you say something that you know and you know it's not right, you don't have the number of God. If you made a deal to fail someone, like it was done in the book of Habakkuk, chapter 1, people are taking advantage of others. 
also Jacob stole uh, wealth of his uh, inheritance of his brother. Brother of um, Jacob stole the wealth of his brother inheritance of his brother Esau. You don't have the number of God. Kindly kill his brother. That's no number of God. Joseph brother sold him to slavery. That is no number of God. Those who kill Jesus, Jesus because of jealousy, they didn't have the number of God. Yet they were saying they were Christian. But they, were, they didn't have the number of God. So our words today, we need to know why do we need to know the number of God? And why is it important? Because no one will enter heaven without that number. And you need to know the number of Satan is sin, pure sin. 66 six is pure sin. There is no barcode. If you do sin, you already have it. If you don't want to live holy, you want to live with falsehood, witchcraft, idolatry. If you worship money, not God. If you love money, than God. If you love Facebook, than God. If you love women, than God. If you love, if you love sport, than God. If you love things of the world, riches, money, than God. You have the number of Satan, not the number of God. You are an idol worshiper. You worship Baal. Worshiping Baal, a Baal God that the writer was refusing. Today is Facebook. Today's TikTok. Today's money. Today's women. They are Baal worship. It is worshiping glamorous image on face on internet. The Baal worshiping pride of life is Baal. That is the number of God. And anybody planting idolatry, worshiping things, loving this more than God. Revelation 22, verse 15. No heaven. That's what the Bible says. That's why you need to know what is the number of God that will make us enter heaven. So the Bible says, and we are going to read our verses of today, uh, that the Holy Spirit is giving us today, uh, is coming from the book of uh, uh, Psalms chapter number 15, which is, uh, we are going to refer to other Bible verses. Psalm chapter 15, what is the number of our God? Psalm chapter 15 is one reference, but we're going to read others, which as the word of God is repeated itself, is the same spirit speaking through many prophets. Psalm chapter 15, NIV Bible 2011 says that, Psalm chapter 15, NIV Bible 2011 says that, Lord, who can dwell in your sacred tent? And other Bible verse say mountain, even this one say mountain. Lord, who can dwell in it is only five verses, so it will not be long. Psalm chapter 15, NIV Bible 2011, it says that, uh, Lord, who can dwell in your sacred tent? Who can live in your holy mountain? The one who walk is blameless. Who does what is righteous? Who speak the truth from his heart, from the, their heart? Whose tongue utters no slander? Surrender is like mocking others, insulting others, planning evil for others. Verse 3, continuation, who does no wrong to a neighbor and cast no threat to others. Sra is also mocking, scoffing other people, insulting people. Verse 4, who despises a vile person? Is somebody who hates a bad person. Like the Bible says in Psalm 50, uh, chapter 1, Psalm chapter 1, don't walk in the way of wickedness. Wicked. Even somebody telling you there is no God, you should not follow such opinion. That's what the Bible says, don't follow their path. Saying there is no God. Verse 4 continues, say, but honor those who fear God. Verse 4 continue and does not charge, does not change his mind. Sorry. Verse 4 continues, say, and who keep an oath even when it's hard. Even in marriage, how many people break oath of marriage? You you make a vow, but you know, you make a vow, but you know, you make a vow, but you know, you make a vow, but This, you, I want to use this woman to get a uh, Canada paper. I want to use this man for children. You make oath for marriage, but you don't keep them. Your intention is evil. Well, you seem like you are living together, but you're, you, your oath is, does not have evidence. It's just children. It's just papers. So nothing works in the family. Living together, we said in another message God gave us, it doesn't mean you are married to that person. Because people share houses. You can share houses with women and men. We used to share, uh, even people still share houses both um, both sex. It doesn't mean you are married. People share houses, boys, 
people it doesn't mean you are same family so living together family is what you 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 say can be seen from heaven satan can see you know god know that you say peter is my husband daniel is my husband mary is my wife if you know and you i want to be with him i want to spend time with him i want to be is my companion is what is seen so if you don't keep the oath you just marry for convenience just to get somebody rich you don't keep the oath if you marry somebody for children that is you are not keeping the, there is no evidence of the oath you took if you are marrying somebody for papers of another country citizen there is no oath there is no evidence of oath oath of marriage is companionship is your helper is somebody to walk together to listen together to be there for each other and worshiping Jesus and having fellowship to, of God together that is verse 4 it is talking about the one who has number of god and who can live in the holy land of god holy mountain sacred tent of god holy place of god is somebody who does not change in all that he took in marriage in salvation who keep an oath even when it has and does not change their mind who raises money to the poor without interest who does not accept bribe against innocent who who does whoever does things things will never be shaken so even when you cheat somebody for marriage it's like bribing somebody when you cheat somebody for marriage you you pretend you want that person but you want a paper citizen of a country you are pretending you want to marry somebody but you want his money and you show him a lot of glorious romance just to get children from him just to get his house just to get his property just to get the paper just to reach to a certain country it's like you are bribing that person you don't have the number of god you can live in the holy mountain of god you can live in the holy tent of god bribe buddy if you marry somebody for wrong reason that's bribing that person because you give that person either a picture he want to see a picture he want to see so you buy him he buy you so that person to win the heart of that person you show him the picture you want to see if it's romance you make it so glorious if it's love you show so glorious love to achieve what you want that is you are bribing somebody for marriage to make an oath that is not an oath who can live in the holy mountain of god we read again quickly as we expound is the lord who can dwell in the holy mountain in the holy land of god who can live in the who has the number of god only those who have the number of God will live in a holy tent of God, in the mountain of God, in the in the holy in the holy land of God, who will enter heaven. The one who walk is blameless, who does what is righteous, he does holy things, who speak the truth from his heart. If you cheat, no heaven, no number of God. Who stand at no slander, you don't mock others. Who does not? Who does not do wrong to other people or neighbor? Who cast no slur to others, like insulting, scoffing others? Who despises a very person, but honor those who fear the Lord? Who keep an oath even when it hurt and does not change his mind or their mind? Who read money to the poor without interest? Who does not change, take, accept bribe against innocent? Whoever does these things will never be shaken. So many sins have been left single. They are innocent. They were naive. They were cheated for marriage. They were cheated for business. They were cheated and left single, taking advantage of others, innocent people. You can live in the holy mountain of God. It is important to carry the number of God. The Bible says, knowing Second Peter chapter three, Second Peter chapter three, knowing heaven will be destroyed, knowing the earth will be destroyed, knowing there will be hellfire. What do we need to do? What manner of person do we need to be? Second Peter chapter 3. I think verse 14. It says we need to be blameless, spotless. Blameless and spotless. And living with the peace. And living in peace with everyone. Blameless, spotless. That means no sin. Anybody spotless, blameless does not cheat. Anybody spotless, blameless does not lie does not do immorality, does not plan evil, does not have jealousy, does not have any sin. That is the number of God who make us enter heaven.
also it is also spoken in the book called Revelation, Revelation 14, Revelation 14, 45. Revelation 14, 45, that those who be sealed as people of God, 144,000. What is their quality? Blameless. Revelation 14, 5. They are blameless. Revelation 14, 5. The same number is repeating again. The same the various books are speaking the same number of our God. They are blameless. No lie in them. Revelation 14, 5. No lies, cheating in them. They are blameless. Verse Revelation 14, 4. Revelation 14, 4. They did not defile themselves with women. What does this tell us? So, how Satan will be winning us to his kingdom is to defile us with women. If you look everywhere in the world, if you look everywhere in the world, it's all women who walk naked. When you look in the internet, it's all women who are naked. You never see a man naked on the internet showing his body. You never see a man in advertisement. Only the women and wearing almost naked in the advertisement. To the common people, it is to attract people so people can have interest. Because most people, they believe those who are doing those things like advertisement, that uh, a woman who is naked will attract people to look. That's why they put women. I, there is crab and pub for selling wine and beer. People, women stay naked and they, they, they may wear nothing or wear only tunics to attract customer. Customer can go there, they can see naked women, they are happy drinking their beer. The Bible says in Daniel 11, 32, those people will be flattered when they are being welcomed to enemy kingdom. They will be flattered with Flattered is like teased. You can be teased with women, entertain, sweet talking spirit, those who sweet talk you. There is also first Timothy chapter 4, verse 1, sweet talking. Winning you through uh, like teasing you say, uh, romantically, like sweet languages. That but those are demons who be you know, whether they are using people or directly, they will be demons, hair angels, seducing spirit. First Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. So Women, defile with women. That's why you see everywhere. It's women, women, women. Naked women. Facebookly women. Everywhere women, naked, naked, naked women. The idea is to seal you to the number of Satan of sin. Remember, Satan has no truth in him. It is falsehood. Anybody who do immorality, Revelation 22, 15, will not enter heaven. Revelation uh, Galatians 5, 19 to 21. Anybody who do immorality will not enter heaven. So the idea is certain to make women naked everywhere. It's only women who live naked. Men don't do that because men, women are not affected by sight. There is no thief and the and Lucas. On Lucas and thief are the same. So when women are defying men, they are also in for it. So those women walk naked. And men who are affected by women, they, they, they swim into the women nakedness and immorality. They are all together. The women who are used to defy men, they are also has the number of Satan. There is no one who rules, who win. Both are, are, are being stolen by the enemy. The enemy stole us. We are killed by women who walk naked. And those women are also killed. They are also part of the enemy kingdom. So anybody who will defile himself with women, Revelation 14, 4, will not be sealed as a man, a, a person, and a saint. So how do you know people who carry the number of God? How do you carry the number of God? How do you know what is the number of our God? It's holy. The idea, the reason why your marriage was split up, the reason why the enemy managed to destroy your family, so many marriages have been broken. There are so many marriages that are they look like they are together. There are so many people living same roof, same house, but there is no family relation. There is no connection. There is no marriage. There is no life marriage. Even you can, if you hear testimony, people stay even years without even having sexual uh, act, even meeting sexually. So people living together and they have other relationship outside. The idea is to defile you so you always carry the number of the devil. The number of sin, the hell number of the devil. 
people say there will be barcode. There is no barcode. The Bible says in Revelation 7, don't touch my our people of God until they are put a mark on their face. It is a spiritual mark. Until we write the now, do not touch the land and the sea until you put a spiritual mark. A mark is a spiritual mark. This are, I remember Rever Isaiah 4 says, Isaiah 4, verse 5, that it will, there will be fire, a sign of fire during the night and a sign of smoke during the day. Only the spiritual world can see that these are the saints of God. For them to be covered, to signify these are the saints. Fire, night, smoke during the day. Also, other says, anybody holy, there's, there's a hedge. There is angel with the sword. Remember Satan in Job chapter 1, the book of Job chapter 1, he was saying, you have put a hedge around Job. I can't touch him. You, God, you have put a hedge around Job. I can't touch him. Everything has a hedge of protection. So the enemy to break it is to make sure he, he use indirect attack. Satan cannot attack you if you're holy. He can't touch you. So he use indirect method. For example, he can break your family. So you go looking women outside. You look men outside. If you're a woman, you go do prostitution. Or we are naked, so or you wear naked, men can talk to you and come help you in the house. That way you have the number of Satan, the number of hell. So many people have been used, especially women, to destroy their own family, to destroy their own marriage, to put their husband away. Even if others are in the same house, there is no sexual life. But there is no winner. They are loser if you don't live holy. Only those who decide it is Jesus, whether I have a wife or not, whether my marriage was destroyed or not, whether the, the wife or the husband refused, we live as a couple. You say it is Jesus, it is Jesus, it is Jesus. This is the only person who will be carrying the number of God. The Bible say in Isaiah chapter 4, verse 2, verse 2 to 3, anybody who decide it is Jesus, who decide to live in Jerusalem, who decide to live in Zion, no matter what, they took away your children. They wrecked your marriage using your own wife, using your own husband, using your own sibling. The enemy come from within, within inside, not outside. They are, the enemy attack from inside. The enemy use inside us. It doesn't use outside us. That's why you will never see Satan anywhere. The Bible say in many chapters in the book of Revelation, it call for the mind of wisdom. It call for the mind of wisdom. Many prophetic books say it call for the mind of wisdom and say listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches today. Listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. The Word of God is true and powerful. It is no error. Habakkuk two three. What he say it meaning that it call for the mind of wisdom. You will not see Satan anywhere. You will see your wife breaking marriage and using his brothers and sisters. You see your sibling wrecking your marriage. You see your parent. You see your daddy. You see your mother. You don't see Satan anywhere. You don't see Satan anywhere. You see very beautiful women coming to you when you have a, a very successful business. When your business is booming, you see our partner. You see so good woman. So beautiful to assist. You know the women are beautiful. Some women are really beautiful. And they were created this way to make them, men love them. Their own husband, not every man, their own husband. Women are, men are weak on women, so we love our wife. Because of how all male, they are affected by female. But Satan makes sure he removed the light way and put his way. Satan removed the light way and put his way. So, there are women, God cannot create sex so weak on men so they go to hell. No! He created sex so men so weak on sex so they have their women, their wife. If you read the book of Song of Song, so man can feel weak in presence of a woman so he can love the woman. And a woman can return with respect because the, the, the philosophy of marriage bond is man love your wife, women respect your husband. 
If you tell a man I, lo I love you, you can't feel anything. Men, they feel their men not when you tell them the, the, you, I love you. Not when you buy them things. It's when you respect men. They feel good. They feel they are men. They have the bull of the house. You don't have a shame man in place of visitor. When a visitor says, this is my husband, that's what men like respect, not love, not buying, uh, but women like love, buying them a gift, telling them story until they jump on you, nice story. But men cannot be entertained, but it's only respect. Acknowledge man in everything you do, like president. There is no law can be passed in a country without president accepting it. Of course, women are the leaders, they are the driver in marriage. But they should not do anything without letting the husband know. That is what is called respect. It's not uh, taking salute on the man. When, it's, when you say respect, your man is the head, does that not mean you take a salute on your man? When he enter house, you say, Haba, Utan, hep, hep. It's not like that. It's not saluting your man and kneeling down before him in awi, like, like he's a god. No. Women are the leader of the house. And even the Bible say in Proverbs 14 verse 1 that women are the builders and foolish ones, they are the ones who destroy their own family. Women are the ones who are the leaders of the house. It's like deputy. Deputy in every organization, whether it's deputy president, whether it's vice president, whether it's deputy uh, principal in a school, deputy are the most busiest people and who run the organization. The, the, the principle is his work is to sign things. Every is principle. So it's president. President's work is to sign things. Signing laws. But deputies the whole land country. Deputies are in the land schools. The discipline master in school are deputies. Deputy principal. So women are the lead of the house. If you want to buy a house, a woman is the one who chooses the house. Is it buying any property? It is woman who choose. If man chooses, it will not work. For any house you go. For any house you go. If people visit certain house, you see ah. Uh, People visit this house, there is always visitor there. People visit, there is a lot of party, birthday party, uh, Christmas party, Easter party. It's because the woman is good, not man. Any house you see, people can live there, visit, it's because woman is good, it's the head. My woman is the one who read the family. But it work. Men, they just want you to recognize they are the one in charge. Acknowledging, consulting them. When you are buying something, let them know. Acknowledging them. Like president, there's no law. Law are not made by president. Law are made by parliament. But president is the one who sign. The work of husband is to sign, to, to be consulted. Is the final judge. Is the final result of the family. Women fly. Like bad if they acknowledge husband in everything. That family is so good because it is following God's way. By women who hide things, you not know their account number, they will not allow you to know what they are doing, they are on their own goal. That family is not blessed because it's not in the way of God. So women, God created men weak on men on women god created men to be weak on women and they feel weak there's a bishop in kenya professor of, of marriage counseling was saying a man a strong man even a big police very big one if a woman put a hand on that police he started crying and he even telling him this is the one that shoot and if they can give the the bullet the gun to the woman he feel weak and maybe start crying even a big man if a very beautiful woman put hand on that man, he started shaking, crying, so that they love their wife, not to love women outside. But Satan always do the opposite. He destroy the marriage and he use your own wife, use your own husband, use your own sibling, use your own in-laws. You don't see Satan anywhere, so that you go loving other women. So that weakness you take to other women outside. So that, that weakness you take to women in the prostitutes.
approach women. So that that desire of women, you take it to women and other women. So that you have the number written of certain. That those who do immorality, Revelation 22, verse 15, will not enter heaven. That those who will not defile themselves with women, they will be called 144. The city, the holy people of God. So people are remarrying and remarrying. And the Bible says in Matthew 24, Luke 21, as it was the days of Noah, as it was the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, people are marrying and remarrying, marrying and remarrying, giving in marriage. The same thing we are in these days. People say, keep moving. If this marriage does not work, take another one and keep moving. Life must continue. The days of Noah, the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, people are living like animals. They were doing gayism, lesbianism was the order of the day, the culture was lesbianism, LGBT, it was, uh, you can marry man to man, woman to woman, you can, they were marrying, they were sleeping with the animals, uh, you can marry and you marry, the days of Noah, the days of, of Sodom and Gomorrah, we have returned the same days, uh, that before Jesus returned, it will be the Sodom, Sodom days, Sodom and Gomorrah, the days of Noah, and this the Bible says, in Daniel 8, verse 23 to 25, that that time people will be like animals, the time we are in, nakedness everywhere. Their antichrist will take over. The stage we are in, antichrist is ready to, he can rule because you can, he can control that by technology. The technology, the technology is very high. That time people are living like animals. You see the days we are in, many pastors, they join the uh, uh, same-sex marriages. I saw a pastor in Kenya last, last year. He bring a, a, a young woman of 22 years or 20, below 25 years, and he's a pastor. I don't know which church is there, and he says, he's a very rich pastor. He has a, a big story house. He says, you, you are the first wife, you're going to stay up there, and this is your, your co-wife, you stay in the bottom uh, house. So that, that's so we are in the last days. There is no row. You can do whatever you want. So one way Satan will make us fail is to carry his number, defining us with women. And that is the one that fail many men. And those women are also in for it. There is no thief and, and onlooker. Anybody who is using his body to fail other men by walking naked is also part of that number of Satan. You will not be seen as a number of God. Anybody seducing men by his body walking naked, either on the internet or on the Lord, who is also counted for hell. How, why do we need to know the number of God? How do we need to, why do we need to carry the number of our God? Why? Because it is only through that number we will enter heaven. Our God is holy. We must carry the number of holiness. Our God is merciful. If you have a spouse, a brother, a friend who is not mercy, has no mercy at all. He does things just to annoy. The Bible says in Psalm 15, anybody who annoys slander other people. He's a slander. He slander. He's, has, he's, he do slander. He, he annoy. They have used vocabulary, but it's, it means people who annoy, insult other people, mock other people, put other people, false testimony, falsehood. They don't have the number of God. Remember, if you want to carry the number of God, you should not lay false testimony against anybody. You should not raise charges against anyone, innocent person. You should not take advantage of others if you want to carry the number of God. You should not fear your brother for no reason. Because of jealousy. You should not have jealousy on your sibling. You should not have jealousy on your spouse. You should not have a jealousy of, on your church member. You should not have jealousy on your place and worship member. You should not have jealousy and selfishness in the place and worship and in the service of the work of God. Many people, they have talent. They are selfish. If it's praise and worship, it's only you. If it's preaching, only you. If it is singing, it is you to lead all the worship. If you are selfish, the Bible says you don't have the name of God. And the Bible says in Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 to 21, anybody selfish, it is you who place and worship is you. Instrument is you. 
It's only you to preach. If you are selfish, you are jealousy. The children, you are the husband and a woman and a wife. You are selfish. You don't let the other spouse enjoy and his children have time with him. You don't let your children to get the hundred percent care of the other parent. Remember, all parents are mandated to have time with their children so the children can grow the right way, socially, morally, uh, physically, emotionally, psychologically, mentally. The children must be reared and have had a person care and a time with both the parents. Most people, most spouses, either men or women, have become selfish. They control other spouses using children. Remember the Bible says anybody taking advantage of the weak. Psalm 15. We have just read. Advantage, taking advantage of the innocent. Also, James 1.27. Those who have no mercy on the innocent. Roman, sorry, Hebrews 12, 12 to 13. You kill the weak. Killing the weak, you sh the Bible say in Hebrews 12, 12 to 13, you should live well, be example, you should be role model to your children, to the weak, to the fatherless. Children are fatherless, like fatherless, they are weak, they are helpless, they are like orphans, they are helpless. Orphan, fatherless in James 1, 27, does not always imply the true orphans, the true fatherless. Children, it means a weak person. A fatherless child is weak, is needy. An orphan, he needs help. He doesn't have parents. They are weak. They are, they, are, they are innocent. They are helpless. Another term is helpless. Children are helpless. The Bible says the true gospel, James 1 27, is caring for the helpless, orphan, fatherless, window. Even those who are don't know God, those who don't, don't, do not understand Jesus, they don't know the way of heaven, they don't know Christianity, they don't know what is the right way to do, whether they are adults of 60 years, they are helpless, they are orphans, they are, they are, they are window, they are, they are daddy, their parents taken away, who is their God? Their God has been cut off. They are spiritual poor. That those who have mercy on the helpless, they will be carrying the number of God and they have the true religion. James 1 27, true religion is caring for the helpless, fatherless, orphan, and also living pure life. It also repeats the same thing we have read in Psalm 15 and Revelation 3 and Revelation 22 and 2 Peter chapter 3 about blameless, pure life. James 1 27, those who live blameless life. Pure life and care for the helpless, needy orphans. Children are needy. Any parent who take advantage of the other parent, any parent or spouse who use other for children, but you're not for marriage, you are affecting the growth and upbringing and development of the children. Because children are not machine. Children are not non-living things. They cannot be blood on earth for your own achievement. Achieving your own whim. You cannot bring children on earth to achieve your own uh, whim, to control another spouse, to, to get, to seek money from another parent, to take advantage of the other, to seek money from the other parent, to steal riches from the other person, to get citizens from another country. You cannot use children so that when they come, they are your gun. Most people, either men or women, they use children as bullet, gun, arm, the shooter, the arrow to control the other person, like a remote control. This man loves his daughter, he loves his son. So with that, I will do whatever I want to do with this man. I will control him like a remote control because of his love of his children. Many parents have been killed. Many spouses have been killed because they are trying to stay because of the kids. These people who kill others, they take advantage. This, you come to me and you kill that person when he's trying to have mercy on his child, on his children. I will stay because of the kids. I will, I will persevere and then they are killed. Remember, you kill, you don't go to heaven. The Bible says in Revelation 22 verse 15, murderers, they will not enter heaven. Revelation 22. 
verse 15. And also Galatians chapter 5, verse 20, 19 to 21. The murderer has no heaven for them. You kill someone, no one leads 100. Only 100 is, is very few. You will be dead soon, facing judgment and hellfire. There is no mercy for the wicked when that time of judgment comes. We must carry the number of God, our number of God. The number of Jesus is holiness, truth, pure life, walking with the spirit. Our God is spirit. We must worship in the spirit. The Bible says in the book of, uh, the Bible says in the book of John 4 verse 23 to 24. John, the Bible says in the book of James, John chapter 4. Verse 23, 24 to 25 there, 24, that God is spirit. And if you say you belong to God, you carry the number of God, you must worship and live by the spirit of God. Not only by the spirit, but also live by the truth. And it says in John chapter 4, verse 23 to 24, that a time is coming, and now it is come, where the true worshiper must, not me, it's not an option. It's not a request, it's a must. A time has come, you know, it's come where the true worshiper must worship God, not only in, in spirit, but in the truth. Then we are saying, how do you carry the number of God? How do you enter heaven? You are cheating yourself, going to church every day, wasting your time, preaching, but you're doing falsehood. You don't have the spirit of God, you don't have truth in you. You planned and stole somebody's children, you stole somebody's world. You took advantage of somebody. I've seen many people, when you bring them abroad, many people, they destroy other people's families. And not only if I even cheat you, they take advantage of you. I've seen many, uh, several examples. You bring somebody, whether man or woman, and then in law they tell you, leave your spouse. This person is not normal. What has he been doing for years here? And they become judges. The Bible says, not the Bible is a saying that don't look at the, an iceberg, iceberg, tip of an iceberg. Because people come abroad, I have seen a lot of examples. I live in, in Australia 18, 20, almost 20 years. I've seen so many people. You bring people and they take over the car and start driving. They don't know where they are. They have no experience. They start driving the car. I saw one time in Kenya, some untrained driver, these people who are called conductor, who, who put people in the car. One person took a car and drove a very far distance, like 200 kilometers. He went in a big, a big minibus. He went and killed all the people and, and, and his step and, 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 and knocked down a small car, saloon car. Because he didn't have experience and thought, because he normally turned the car in the stage, he took the car and drove and he didn't have a license. He went and killed a, a, a people in a small car and a lot of people were, had a lot of accident in that car, a very big, almost a, a size of a minibus, bigger than a minibus. People come abroad and they take over. And you live there for years. Like the other say, a, a, a young man sitting on a tree does not see far like a man sitting on a, an old man sitting on a floor or on a seat. An old man sitting on a seat can see far than a, a young man or a boy sitting on a tree. So people who come to you and they have no experience or people guiding you in marriage and they have not been married, they are like those young men on a tree and trying to, and they are very hot and full of advice and they don't know anything. They come and say, this man, this man or this woman, what has he been doing? Hmm? The Bible says in Daniel chapter 11, they will be glorified for the downfall of the saints. The enemy glorified cripple. He put them ahead of you. David was complaining of these cripple. They were put at his door, mocking him. Satan always put the, the, those who have no knowledge to lead you. So you fall. If Job accepted the, the advice of his wife, he could have fell. His wife was like a creep. Let's curse God. So Adam fell under creep. Adam fell on a creep seat. His wife was used by Satan. And every time Satan used women because they are emotional, they are easily carried out. 
every family where people have been treated by this magic psychic or witch, uh, witch doctors is women, not men. Men never. Men are hard hard. The enemy always uses women because it's easy. They are emotional. Their mood go changes. They affect her quickly. But God said they are weak vessel women. That's why God said they are the one who build a house. Because men, when they decide something, they decide. They, and they don't just change. So God said it's women who build and destroy home. So, only those who carry the name of God will enter heaven. Only those who carry the number of holiness, the number of walking with the Spirit of God. Only those who walk with the truth of the Word of God. Only those who walk blameless. It is very important to carry the number of God. It is very important to carry the number of Jesus and to know which is the number of our God. Which is the number of our Redeemer? Which is the number? And why should we carry this number? You should not, we should not waste time in the church. We should not waste time in the church. Worshipping, praying, giving a lot of money. But we don't carry the number of God. If we, if we normally sing and we used to sing, it's all in vain. To live without Jesus is so in vain, is so in vain, is so in vain, is so in vain. To live without Jesus is so in vain. Before we started seeing this, saying this, we are saying, I've seen a lot of people, they come and start driving you, they don't know anything about you. They say, I've small, don't judge, and by looking at a tip of an iceberg. But you don't know the big mass lying underneath. Why the Titanic ship fell? Because they misjudged. This, uh, this is just a small iceberg. So they saw there was an iceberg on the sea. And there was a big one underneath. So they still keep driving the Titanic and it hit the iceberg. And the, well, that was one of the factors why the Titanic fell. The one who created Titanic, the great ship, around 1900, he said... That this even nobody can fail this ship. But it fell. They misjudged an iceberg. They saw a tip of an ice in the sea. But there was a lot of big mass like a lock under, under the sea. People don't know how and why. Why you don't have a house. Why, why, why. Because for example some people say. Instead of, of, of working. Instead of, 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 of accumulating money. To buy a house, I will go to my country and look for a wife. Those are, so many people do like that. So they say, instead of uh, wife number one or husband number one, because without a family, you feel bored. Uh, in the developed nation, there's not, not a lot of social life because when people are rich, they don't meet so much. Poor people meet, meet all the time, uh, especially accumulate, supporting each other financially. So you decide, I need somebody to give me company. So instead of uh, buying a house and working to save for a house, I better marry. Then this person, when he said, and come, he say, why? Even I had another child who was told to ask, to, to ask his parent, who came re in, uh, many years later. My parent, when you are here a long time, why, why you didn't buy a house? So cheating the children. And this person, he for God saving money to to put wife that who, that person or husband who is speaking and cheating the children, he put him first. Let me bring this person. Let me marry this person instead of saving money. Instead of buying house and marry when I buy house, I'll put marriage first. Marry first instead of, of saving money for house. That money I should have saved to buy house, I will refuse it to marry somebody to, for marriage and planning marriage. But when this person settled, he started now judging. And even cheating the children, this person is useless. He stayed here for 20 years before he married me. He didn't have a house. And no my buy house. He's a useless person. That's what you say, judging somebody by looking at the tip of an iceberg. But you don't know the mass. You don't know why, why somebody did not. They say, when you go to Rome, be like Rome. Don't be quick to judge without first understand. People who go to judge tribunal cases, and people who are chosen to lead institutions like board of governor, board of director, they are the retired people who have experience. 
And they don't speak, they listen first. I've seen many people, they have been failed. Because they help people and they come start judging. Leave this person. He's not normal. He does nothing. And this person has been used, these people who are judging, they were also used to, to by this person they are saying is useless. They use that person to come abroad still. If that person did not help them, no matter their person, he could have made like 20 houses. Even there are people who decide, I will help my family first. It's very poor. Then people can start judging you, but they don't know you are helping your poor family, your pure sibling, who are dying. John the Baptist says, if you have two clothes, give the one without. You must not be selfish. If you are aware of, support those who are not. That is the true gospel. And it's also spoken in James chapter 1 verse, 20, verse 27. James 1 27 is supporting the weak, the needy. It's the true gospel and living pure life. How do we carry the number of God? It is by living as God is. Knowing who is God. God is holy. Who is God? God is pure. Who is God? God is spirit. We must live by the pure, not spirit of Satan, but the spirit of holiness. The spirit of truth of God. God is massive. God is, has always good thought on us. We must have good intention and good thoughts on others. God is kind. God is loving. God is joyful. God is merciful. God is kind. God is loving. For God loved the world, so love us. For God so loved the world, he gave his son to deliver us. If you love God, if you have the name of God, you must give your body as a living sacrifice. You must give your body as a holy sacrifice to God. You must give your time to serve others. You must give your time to pray for the needy, for the poor, for those who are fighting like Ukraine. You must spend time to fast and pray for Ukraine, for Russia. Spend time to pray for the lost. Spend time to spread the gospel. You must give yourself for service as a servant of God. If you love God, you must give yourself as an instrument to be used as, like an amb as ambassador, not like as ambassador of Christ. Because true saints who carry the number of God, they are ambassador. They reach out. They don't keep quiet. You go to Canada, you are taken there to preach. You go to Jamaica, you are taken there to preach. You go to Russia, you are taken there to preach. You go to Australia, you go to Canada, you go to America. You are taken there not to, to work, but to preach, to earn money so you can spread the gospel. To spread the gospel in the way you work, the way you talk. But people, when they, they wear off, they go to each nation. It is money, 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 no God anymore. It's put you under the table, the right. God was in the poor nation because they wanted money. The people sometimes they fail because God say, when you go to each nation, when you are aware of, remember me. Because people tend to think God is needy. I connect to God through need. Help me feast. Help me children. Give me wife. Give me husband. That is how we take our God. It's a God of provision. It's not only God of provision. Is a God of holiness. Is God our creator. Is a God whom we need to meet. And to meet him and live in his kingdom, we must live holy and do his work. It's a God who wants us to work for him and serve him and worship him. It's not when we get money, you, you, we provide. Yes, we, he's a provider also. God is a provider. But when he provides, you forget to worship. It's a God who need to worship. So this, if God allow us and the Holy Spirit speak, we bring this message again about carrying the number of our God. It's very important because nobody, God has no mercy for a heart that turn back, for somebody who refuse to worship God. You are given all chances. God said, I will try to make sure everybody hear the gospel. That's why we have YouTube, we have Facebook, we have TikTok, we have WhatsApp, we have Emo, we have TikTok, so that everyone can be rich by the gospel. The Bible says in Isaiah 43, Isaiah 60, Isaiah 61, God will join people together. How? It is through this technology so everyone can hear the gospel. The technology will allow everyone to hear. Even if you go, don't, don't go, even if you don't go to church, you get the word through WhatsApp, through Facebook, through TikTok. Somebody even who said something funny talking about God to educate you about Christianity. So that you will have no reason 
that you didn't hear. The God in the mountain is God in the valley. The God who was with you, you are worshiping the poor nation. Say, pray, God, give me a husband. Give me a visa to Australia, Canada. It's the same God in Australia, it's the same God in Canada. He was not God of visa to Australia. He was not God of visa to America. He was not God of visa to Sweden. It's a God who needs to be worshipped. We need to worship God. Whether we are in Australia or Kenya, whether we are rich or not, whether we bought a house or not, it's not a provision of God. It's a God who of worship to be worshipped at all times. Our God is holy. We must live holy. Our God is pure. We must live pure. Our God is spirit. We must walk with His with His spirit. Our God is merciful. We must be merciful to others. Our God does not take advantage of of the poor. We must not do that. Our God is not selfish. We must not be selfish by stealing, hiding kids, saying we are the husband, we are the wife of this family, and put the other spouse outside. We must not take advantage and and deprive other parents right of their children. That is not the number of our God, and you can't enter heaven. You sh- the truth must be told. The Bible says, Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 18 to 21. Collect all people. Peter, Daniel, John, you Christian there. Collect all people. Ezekiel 3, 18 to 21. Tell all people the truth. Fury with you. full authority. Titus 2, 15. With full authority. With full courage. Don't fear. Until if they get lost. Peter, I will not ask you their blood. But if you see them doing wrong things, cheating in marriage, cheating in business, cheating in the church, cheating the praise and worship, doing wrong things in the church, if you don't tell them, Peter, I will ask you their blood. But if you told them, Ezekiel 3, 82 to 1, if you told them, you have washed your hand. They will go to hell if they didn't listen, but uh, you have cleaned yourself. If they don't change. Correction is mandatory and we must do it. If you are a professed Christian, you say you are Christian, you must tell people the truth. If you keep quiet, you already made a deal with the Satan. Remember, if you made a deal to fail someone, you already made a deal with the devil. How do you make a deal with the devil? It's when you make something secret without telling the one you are doing secret on. If you made a secret to fail someone in marriage, I need this woman to give me papers. I need this man to give me children. I want to use this man to get paper where he lives. I want the property of this woman so I pretend I love him. I love her. I want this man for children just because of his money, his property. I want to use this man to go to, to, to Canada. You will not enter heaven if you do such things. You will not be counted as a child of God. We must know the number of our God. Our God does not plan evil on others. If you plan evil like that, taking advantage of other innocent people, many rich people are cheated, especially in developing countries. They are called professor, doctor, so that you can get money from that person. Anybody who do falsehood, Revelation 22 verse 15, who will not enter the city, will not enter heaven. We need to know the number of God so we can keep reviewing, evaluating, rethinking. Do I have the number of God? We must review. Every project must be reviewed. Every learning, you must do a reflection and review. Have I learned? How am I learning? Am I learning anything? Do I have the number of God? What I have done to people this week? What I have been thinking? What I have been doing in secretively when I'm alone? Do I show, portray the number of God? of holiness, pure life, pure thought, holiness, walk with the spirit. This is part one of the message. We may bring it later if the Holy Spirit speak. We said in Psalm 15, who can live in the holy mountain? Somebody who is blameless, righteous. Blameless, righteous are holy people. Who speak the truth? Our God is truth. Brimless, our God is brimless. Righteous, our God is righteous. Truth, our God is truth. Who never slander, our God does not annoy other people and scoff. Who does wrong to nobody, 
God does not do wrong to people. Jeremiah 29, 11, God planned good things for everyone and think good things for others. Who keep the oath even when it's hard? God does not change. James 1, verse God, James chapter 1, verse 17. God never changes what he means. Isaiah 55, verse 9 to 12. God does not change. He means what he says. So if you don't change what you mean, I'm a Christian. I, you are my wife. I, you are my man. I married you. If you don't change, you, are, you have the number of God. Who does not take his position and uh, 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 like reading money to get interest from people, innocent people? Who does not take bribe? Remember, we are saying bribing, even when you cheat somebody for visa, cheat somebody for marriage, that yeah, I want you, I love you so much, and you want a visa of a country. You're cheating somebody in business, you still like blabbing. So we are going to finish this message by reading the book of 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 16 to 17. And it says that um, uh, 2, Peter, 2 Peter chapter 3, 2 Peter chapter 3, 2 Peter chapter 3, Second Peter chapter 3 is talking about the days of the Lord. It was saying, it is also, we read it before verse 14, it says, verse 14, but not the one we are reading, it says, knowing that everything will be destroyed, we need to live spotless, blameless, and at peace with God. But our main focus in Second Peter chapter 3, verse 17 to 18, which is NIV Bible 2011, it says, these are our final verses as we finish about carrying the number of God. What do we need to know? We're in the last days. We're in the days of deception. We're in the time of deception. That life is Facebook. Life is accumulating riches. Life is just TikTok. Life is uh, making YouTube video that we get views. You can even, if it's removing clothes, you get a lot of views. You get money from YouTube. Whatever means you can do. The time of deceiving ourselves and deception. Worshipping the beast, the system. We are worshipping the beast. Many people worshiping the beast, the internet. Maybe are watching TikTok, worshiping views, just uh, how many like I have. And beast is a system. We're also worshiping people like celebrity, worshiping my pastor, worshiping your pastor, worshiping people, worshiping money, worshiping women, worshiping sport. These are deception and uh, idol worshiping. And you said anybody I, loving something more than God is idol worship. And you can enter heaven. Revelation 22, verse 15. Galatians 5, 19 to 21. So our final verse is 2 Peter. 2 Peter, chapter 3, verse 17 to 18. It says, Therefore, dear friends, since you have been for one, since you have been for one, since you have been one or been told in advance, be on your guard so that you may not be carried away by the error of lowest or deception and fall from your secure position but grow in the grace and the knowledge of our lord and savior jesus christ to him be the glory to him be to him be the glory both now and forever amen so you hear we have been warned before that we be on our guard being on our guard is means playing 24 7 living holy living pure life following the bible doing what jesus said following the bible to the letter don't follow pastor don't follow your church member don't follow people follow the bible read the bible everybody who is prayed for is to go to a bible believing church so you follow the bible follow the bible do what the bible says in your marriage in your work in your family in it with the people be on your guard by living holy by carrying the number of god by doing what the bible says, living pure life working in the number of holiness uh, living the working the number of blameless spotless spotless life helping the needy the poor the innocent the poor the needy the fatherless it can be the little fatherless little orphan little needy or those who are needed even spiritually, they don't know God. They have been lost by the enemy. They are the dry bones stolen in Israel who are made dry, like dry bone, take out of from God by worshiping Facebook, TikTok. They have been stolen. Their hope has been stolen. They have been cut off from God. They are innocent. They are, they, they are poor. They are orphan. They are fatherless. They are the needy. These are the people Jesus said, I had mercy on them. When I saw the crowd, they were harassed. 
and by Satan, but they were harassed, they were tormented by the devil, they were harassed in Facebook, they were harassed in TikTok, they were removing clothes to, to accumulate views, they were harassed by the Satan, by immorality, by pornography, by accumulating riches, by showing off, they were harassed by the devil, by worshipping riches, by chasing riches, they were harassed. These are often their father is also they are needy. That we need to live pure life and also help the fatherless, helpless window. It can be little one or those spiritual needy and spiritual orphan. So that is what God say: be on our guard, holy and helping the needy, even needy in money. And so we, we live holy by being in our guard. So we don't follow for our secure position. A secure position is a secure position of holiness. Living light, walking the way of God. So God advises in Second uh, Peter three eighteen. Instead of falling from secure position and falling the way of deception, life is just money, accumulated riches, worshiping women, worshiping men, worshiping sport, living freelance life, marrying and marrying, living no role. You can do whatever you want. Keep going, marry and marry again if money doesn't work. So instead of going and falling away from this deception that is sweeping across the world, taking everyone, the Bible says, but, 2 Peter 3, 18, but grow in the grace and the knowledge of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. To him be the glory now and forever. Better open YouTube channel and build people with their piano skill, with their uh, motivation skill, with your singing skill. Produce song and share to build somebody who wanna take poison there. Encourage people with the song of the word of, of, of God's word. Encourage people with a testimony, with the word of the Bible that is blessing you. Open YouTube channel. Preach through Facebook, through TikTok, through Emo. Preach through TikTok, through WhatsApp. This is prophetic timeline. This is prophetic unfold. This is a prophetic happening. This is prophetic timeline that I will join the whole world. Isaiah 43, Isaiah 60, Isaiah 61. I will join the whole world. I will say, North, give them out. South, West, East, give all your children out, your family. They will come in chariots and horses. People in the same school, same university. People of the family of God. Your own people. People of the family of God. Joining them together. Open YouTube channel and build them out. And fulfilling, fulfilling the word of God. Also in 2 Timothy chapter 3. Verse 16 to 17 says, uh, the, you, you, the word of God, you spread to them, either through song, preaching, it is to build them so they are fully grown and prepared for the coming kingdom. Hallelujah. May you be blessed a few purpose to carry the number of God. Don't carry the number of Satan because Satan is going nowhere. He's already judged for hell. Jesus, help us to walk with your number. Help us, Jesus, uh, to walk with your number. Oh, Rabba Shika Rabayanda. Help us walk with your number. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Help us walk with your number. Help us walk with your number, Jesus. Oh, Rabba Shika Rabayanda. Rabba Shika Rabayanda. Rabba Shika Rabayanda. Rabba Shika. We will carry your number. We walk with the holiness, pure life. Jesus, helping the needy, doing holy things. Having a thus for righteousness, walk with the holiness, Jesus, your mighty, Jesus, your glorious, Jesus, your holy. May you never leave us alone. Walk with us, Jesus, your God of God. You are Jesus, our Messiah. Number of God, holiness, preeminence life, who rabbi are planning good for others, thinking good things for others. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are holy. You are mighty God. You deserve adoration. Hallelujah. Jesus, you are holy. Jesus, you are mighty. Jesus, you are glorious. I will be thy holy name. Thy kingdom come. That will be done on other side. Give us this God, dear blood. He does not tempt us, but deliver us from the faces of evil. For all the kingdom power belongs to you. Jesus, we carry your number. No matter what, I choose Jerusalem. We choose Jerusalem. We choose Jerusalem. We choose Zion. So we are called your number. We carry your number. You are called the whole one. We are covered by you. Hallelujah. Riba Shikarabayanda.